Uh, here we have one uh, folder that has one Power BI desktop file and two uh, Excel files. Now this Power BI desktop file is fetching data from these uh, Excel files and if we move this folder to some uh, other location, to some other disk or some other computer, this uh, fetching will not work anymore uh, because the links uh, to these Excel files are hard-coded inside this Power BI desktop file. So links will not be valid anymore and refreshing will not work. Uh, solution for this problem is to always find in which uh, folder this uh, Power BI desktop file uh, reside and then to append uh, names of these Excel files to that uh, uh, folder full path to get correct links. Now Power BI desktop file doesn't have a function that will return full path to this uh, folder so instead of that we have to use something else. First we have to know that when we open Power BI desktop uh, file, we are going to start one process that has name Power BI Desktop. Now there is a shell program called Handle64. This program can uh, give us a list of all the files that are locked with processes that has PBID in its name. So when we open Power BI Desktop file, we start that process and that process will lock all of these files and one of these files is actually Power BI Desktop file itself and for that file we are going to get its uh, full path. Now we have to read all of this data to extract our uh, line uh, where uh, full path is uh, written and to uh, read it. For this we are going to use uh, Python. Now inside of um, options in Power BI desktop file there is Python scripting um, uh, dialog where uh, we can uh, choose a home folder where our uh, Python is installed. Now I'm using um, portable version of Python, so I have to directly tell uh, by using this browse button to Power BI Desktop where my uh, Python home directory is. Now Power BI Desktop uh, uh, knows uh, where our Python is and it can uh, uh, use it to execute Python scripts. Uh, beside this, I'm going to make this uh, table. Now, this table has a name of this file in, in uh, this cell. So, name of the file is PBID full path. Uh, uh, it is the same here and I'm going to use this in my script to read the name of this um, uh, file and I'm not going to hard code uh, that name inside of the script. Now here is the script. Uh, this is Power Query. So in this is, script has these uh, steps. Uh, first, we, this is the place where we placed our uh, NL64 uh, program and this uh, location is hard coded so on each computer uh, this uh, um, program has to be at the same place. This is our script. Script is really short, Python script. Uh, it will read uh, data from shell by using that same code. It will encode a result in UTF-8. Then it will use these lines to export um, uh, our line that, that has a um, full path of this uh, Power BI desktop uh, file. And uh, at the end, we are going to get as a result a data frame that uh, has uh, one cell, and in that cell, we will have a um, name of a folder uh, where uh, this uh, file resides. We are going to extract that name, and we can then uh, add the name of that Excel file to that uh, folder full, full path to uh, get correct uh, link. And this is the final result. Now we can uh, see how. Uh, all of this code uh, looks in, in advanced editor. Now it has, of course, all the same uh, steps, only this is a uh, Python script. It's much harder to read it uh, from here. Uh, as we see, the name of um, our uh, file is read from that uh, uh, table. It's not uh, hard coded. And uh, after this, we get our uh, result. We extract um, uh, full path of a folder as a string and then we just add uh, uh, the name of Excel file and this um, result will always be correct. After I click on the refresh we are always going to get a correct uh, full path to our uh, Excel file.